Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Thursday Vanilla Bean Recipe. This is Sandy at Suburban Home Center, Wyoming, Arizona, and it is a fabulous day here in Wyoming. Now, Dan, one of my subscribers, had sent me a recipe for creme brulee. Now, I don't have a circulator, and so I took his recipe, but I made it a, a little bit different way just because that I don't have that tool, but still makes a beautiful creme, creme brulee. So Dan, thanks for the recipe. And of course I'm using vanilla beans. If you don't have a vanilla bean, you could use extract instead. And we're gonna go through the whole process, how we do it, how we bake it, we let it cool, then we're gonna add sugar to the top and I'm going to caramelize that with a torch. Now there's a lot of different torches. Are some better than others? You know they are. But I'm going to use a little torch and show you how it does. And then I'm going to use some map gas. And that's out of Joe's Garage. Now a lot of people use map gas to sear steaks and different kinds of meats. So don't think that you can't use it. It's just the heat. And it's higher in heat than like a propane torch. Though a propane torch would work. And I'll just show you how fast it can be with map gas instead. Now we are making four ramekins today. At the end of the video, we are going to draw for five vanilla beans from our last vanilla bean recipe. Now I had been off a couple weeks with vanilla beans because I had been sick. And thank you so much for all the prayers, text messages, the emails, the calls, the cards. I totally appreciate that. And let's go make some cream brulee. Here's our recipe. Five egg yolks, one vanilla bean, two cups of heavy cream, a half a cup of sugar, you could use vanilla sugar, and an eighth teaspoon of salt. So it's very simple. I'm going to put them in five large ramekins. And so we're going to put the milk, the salt, and the vanilla bean on the stove basically pretty low, medium low heat. And we just want it to get hot. We don't want it to boil, anything like that. But we're just gonna throw the entire vanilla bean in there. And let's get the other half and I'm just scraping those seeds out. Now I will not be able to use or save that actual vanilla bean because it was in the cream. A lot of times I can put it, after I take the seeds out, I can put it in sugar and make vanilla sugar, but you can't do that if it was in any kind of milk product. Now I'm gonna break my eggs. These are farm fresh eggs from the girls. And I need five yolks. Now one of the keys is to get as much of the white out. You don't really want any of the white in your cream brulee. And I'm just throwing it back in that two cup where I had the heavy cream. Then I'm gonna add the sugar. Now these egg whites, I can save and use them in a different recipe. Now when you first start mixing it, it's very thick. It's kind of like the consistency of like a toothpaste even. But the more you mix it, the sugar starts to dissolve in the egg yolk and it gets lighter and lighter and lighter. So you could use a hand mixer. I'm just gonna use the whisk and I'll just take my time while the cream is heating up on the stove. And you can see that it's just incorporating really well. And as soon as it gets hot, I turn it off and let it cool. So there's my egg mixture. There's my cream mixture and it is cooled completely. So I'm going to take those vanilla pieces out of there and we're going to incorporate the two together. So the first thing I'm going to do is add basically about three quarters of a cup of the cream mixture into my egg mixture. Now it's completely cool, so it is not gonna cook the eggs, but I just slowly incorporate it in there until I get um, a nice smooth texture. And it doesn't take long with the wisp, it'll just mix really nice. Now when I get it all mixed, I'm gonna take that whole um, egg mixture and put it back with the cream mixture. And so I'm just slowly pouring it in, using my wisp and just incorporating it 
completely. Making sure all those vanilla seeds get out. And then I'm going to pour them into my four large ramekins. Now ramekins come in different sizes, so you might need six of them if you have some smaller ones. And I'm just going to fill those up, not all the way to the top, but about to that rim. Now I put them in a, a glass container and I am pouring boiling water around them. So I had just put water in my teapot, heated it up. My oven is preheated to 325 degrees. And I'm gonna fill that so it goes about halfway up the ramekins. And since my oven is ready, I can put it right in there. Now it's in the oven for 40 minutes. And here it is when I take them out. And they're extremely hot, so make sure that you're careful when you take them out of the water. And I'm gonna put them on some racks. And you can see I slipped with one of these and some of it um, popped out into the water. <laughs> but there are my four ramekins. Well, really, it's a pretty easy dessert to make, isn't it? Let's go first to see who our winner is. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna caramelize that sugar on top. So the computer is picking from 32 different unique comments on that video and it's Dan McCann and that is so funny since he is the one who actually gave me the recipe. What are the odds that he would win some vanilla? So here's my little propane torch and I'm trying and trying and obviously the the little butane torch is out. So all of them are going to be map gas. So I put a, a tablespoon of sugar on and I actually really wish I would have put just a little bit less sugar than I did but the recipe calls for a tablespoon of sugar, and so here I am. And I, the idea is if you keep turning the ramekin, as you're putting the flame to the sugar, it'll be very even. Now it's a trick because you want the sugar to melt. You can see it's starting to um, liquefy, but you don't want it to burn. So there's always a, um, there's that fine line on when you're doing it. And so you always want to stop really just a little bit before you think you should. And it's very liquidy, the sugar is, and then you just stop and you let it cool. And it's perfect then. Well, Joe, have you ever had creme brulee? I don't think so, baby. It's good. That top will be a little hot. Um, you use the, the flame to crystallize that sugar on top. Mm -hmm. And so you can um, just Break through that and just take a bite. It's kind of like a pudding, I always think. That's good. He it's always good. says it's good. It's real does, good. Doesn't he? <laughs> when does he tell me, oh, I don't really like that? <laughs> You're a good cook, baby. <laughs> Enjoy, Joe. Well, next time you need to caramelize sugar, go out to the garage and get a map gas. If you, you can use a little torch, you can use a bro propane torch, or you could actually turn your broiler on in your oven and slide it in there and let the broiler do it for you. This is Sandy at Suburban Home Center, Wyoming, Arizona. Next week, we are actually gonna have a different kind of video, but I think you'll like the recipe. See you then.